Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how to do a gum paste bow and I'm going to be using the Blossoms modeling paste. It's already pre-colored so there's no need to add any color to this and all you need to do is knead it till it becomes nice and soft and my tools that I'm going to be using today first of all I'm going to be using the paste I've got a ribbon cutter and I've got my rolling pin, my water brush and a triangle cutter. Then I've got two pieces of paper towel rolled up and I have a brooch mold that I'm going to be using to decorate the bow. Also I've got a dummy cake here which I'm going to form the bow over because when I place the bow on the cake like I've got over here you can see that the, the bow slightly bends around the cake. If you dry your bow flat you're going to end up with a flat bow on your cake and it's not going to look right. So try and mold it over a dummy for it to dry. So let's roll it out. You want to get quite a long roll. So I'm just going to roll this across my board. And then with my ribbon cutter, I'm going to cut right through that. You can have this at different widths and making a fairly wide one for the cake you can also do much smaller and thinner ones. There we go, nice clean cut. Make sure that the edges are smooth, just rub your fingers along the edge right. and just even up those edges. going to be big enough. It's going to make it slightly smaller. So if I measure this we're looking at about 27 centimeters. Okay then with my water brush I'm just going to put some water on the edges of that strip and I'm going to bring both of them over into the middle. Just push them down and then take my rolled up paper towel and pop it into the gap there on the one side and onto the gap on the other side. And push that down in the center so it sticks and then pinch it And then once you've pinched it, you can see if you want to make the bow slightly bigger. All you do is you just open up that paper towel a bit to increase the size. There we go. Right. Now I want to cut a little strip to go over the center of that. I'm just going to cut another strip. in it and I'm just going to make it slightly narrower so it just fits a bit better okay. and just use a bit of water pop that over push it down gently pick this up turn it over that around and squeeze that at the back. Bring it back over. Right. I'm going to be using this mold today and I'm going to be using this pattern here to put the brooch on top of the, the bow. A little bit of corn flour into the mold just to prevent the sugar from sticking inside. Pop that in, work it into the mold Trim off the excess. This is a palette knife. I'm just trimming off some excess of gum paste here. Bring any edges back into the mold so you don't have any bits 
dangling out. There we go. Pop it out. And a bit of water on the back. And place that in the center. Just gives it a nice finish. I'm going to take the burr and I'm going to place it on top of the dummy so that it can form in the shape of that dummy cake so that when I place it on my actual cake it's already got that bend to it. Just open up your bow a little bit more and you can leave it like that and it'll dry overnight or within a couple of hours you can even use it. But I like to make mine the day before and then they're nice and dry. Now I'm going to make some tassels and again I'm just going to roll this all up. Just going to roll out really thin long strip. And rolling out diagonally can help you rather than rolling side to side. It's a bit longer. Take your ribbon cutter and cut out. Right. What I'm going to do now Each side off. Okay, I'm going to cut it to 30 centimeters, then 15. Just so I've got two even pieces. Then I'm going to take a triangle cutter and place that at the bottom. tassels for your bow. Now you can either also form these onto a cake board. You can see I've done that with this one. I've formed them so that they slightly bend over the, the board or you can have them straight or you can place them so that they can dry like that. I'm just going to paint a little bit of gold on the center of this little brooch. And that will make it pop. And there you can see. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to receive my next upcoming tutorials. Thank you and goodbye. Joining me today, and I hope you enjoy today's. Uh, you see now, I've got tongue tied. <laughs>